General Motors has created a plug-in car. It's called the Chevy Volt. There's a lot of investment and expectation riding on it. Twelve years ago, GM introduced the first modern electric car, the EV1, seen here in the documentary Who Killed the Electric Car? It Never Caught On. Joining us now is Volt's design director, Bob Boniface. Good morning, sir. Morning. I see you're uh, holding the cord right there. This literally is a plug-in car. What does that mean? Well, really, this is the heart and soul of the Chevy Volt because what you're seeing here is that the car is essentially it's an electric vehicle. You take this end, plug it into a wall socket, and basically you can drive for 40 miles on just electricity. But the beautiful thing about the car, and this is what's great about it, it has a small gasoline engine in it also. So if you run out of electricity, you don't simply coast to the side of the road and look for a wall socket. You can go another 300 miles or so on gasoline to get you to the next charge, charge port. So this is not exactly a hybrid in the sense of hybrids as we know it. This little, this little gasoline engine really then helps power the battery, right? Right. Uh, traditional hybrid vehicles, the uh, gas engine still drives the wheel. The Volt's very different. It is purely electrically propelled. The gas engine on board is only there as mm. a, as a uh, safety measure in case you go run out of electricity. It will charge the battery and let you keep going. Right. And if I'm only using the battery, if I'm just running errands around the house, because most trips for most people take are less than 20 miles, and if I'm plugging right. this thing in overnight when g electricity is cheaper, how cheap is this thing to run? Well, there's the beauty of the car. Uh, a traditional vehicle that gets, say, 30 miles per gallon costs you between 12 and 15 cents per mile to drive. This car, if you plug in overnight, it's one to two cents per mile. So big difference in the cost of ownership and cost of driving. Okay, well, we've all been sitting around looking at this car this morning. It's a cool looking car. It's attractive to the eye. Right. When does it go on the market? What, not for another two years yet? Yeah, we're talking about in-dealer showrooms by November of 2011. Obviously, earlier on than that, these cars will be on the road, and people, hopefully in my hands, for testing purposes. Right. But the public will be able to get one in 2010. And what will it cost? Uh, we've stated that we want to keep the price below $40,000, but obviously we haven't announced pricing yet, and a lot of things can change, but the price should be below $40,000. And GM has an awful lot riding on this electric car, that's for sure. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. Bob Boniface, thanks so much for the uh, preview this morning. Do appreciate it.